What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And together, we, we are, are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. Oh, your ring. Ow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so as most of you guys saw yesterday on our video, we went out to St. Pete and we bought a lot of wholesale stuff and we made some good money on that. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out. But while we were out there, Allison found us a thrift store to go to. Yeah, Ryan said, do you want to go thrifting after this? And I said, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> so yeah, Allison found a thrift store. We had never been to this one before. It wasn't a chain. It wasn't like a Goodwill or Salvation Army. It was just one of those one-off thrift stores. So we went there and I think we scored. We did very well there. Yeah. We found some vintage stuff and some new stuff. So in this video, we're going to be showing you our haul from yesterday. We'll show you each piece one by one and tell you how much we spent in total and how much we feel we should be able to make on each item. And when we tell you the comps that we're using to price the items, we're being very, very conservative. They usually sell for at more. least, <laughs> yeah, five to 10% more than that. Sure. We list it high. We have a lot of good feedback, so we can list high. We find it's better to tell you guys basically worst case scenario on these items so that we're not over promising and under delivering. Under -delivering. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the haul so you guys can see what we got at the thrift store. Vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren Polo. What we really loved about this one is the colors. It was so floral, so fantastic. We knew that this would be a really good seller because this type of pattern always sells really fast for us. Even though it was a tiny bit faded, the quality of the fabric is still there. So it'll sell really fast and somebody will be very happy with it. And or Ryan may possibly keep it. <laughs> possibly. We love this kind of stuff. If you can find it in good condition, it does sell pretty well. We more than likely will take an offer on this for around $30. Next is this really nice high quality vintage Tommy Hilfiger Army Green long sleeve button down. I love this shirt so much. I love Army Green shirts, but this one's in amazing condition. I feel like the person didn't even wear it. Yeah, it's nice and crisp and clean. It smells really good <laughs> i mean if they even did wear it they probably had it dry cleaned it's a nice shirt unfortunately these don't resell for a whole ton of money we'll probably get around 23 to 25 dollars for this shirt but they do sell pretty quick for us so that's good the next thing i found is this really really cool vintage nike red white and blue shirt i'm you not got... a fan you don't like it no oh it's so it's <laughs> so america like it. It's very 90s. It is very 90s. Maybe that is I just true. don't like 90s. I'm going to say it is oh. 90s, actually. That's untrue because I like all that other stuff. <laughs> well, I like it. It's very America. It is true Nike vintage. The coloring's great. It's in, I would say, a 8 out of 10 condition. It's got the nice Nike mesh in the middle of the shirt. So. And the white is still white, which is really, really great. Right. The red and the blue are slightly faded, but it is a t-shirt, so that happens. I like it. I think we'll get $25 for this shirt on eBay. All this stuff is eBay. None of this is Amazon. Right. Yeah. But there are other places you can sell clothes like this. There's Grail. There's Poshmark. There's lots of other places you can sell vintage clothing. We just like eBay because that's where we list pretty much everything. Yeah, it's just all set up already and pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> Next, sticking with the Nike theme, this is another vintage Nike piece. What do you think about this one? It's cool. <laughs> I like it. What I had to think you, about that for a second. What if you took the other shirt and wore it under this shirt? Red, white, and blue. Take this off. You got another red, white, and blue Nike? Whatever. Um, you don't know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Nike snap button pullover. Three snap buttons. Nike logo. It's fleece lined, which is really nice too. How good's the condition of the fleece? It's okay. Yeah, it's all right, but it's old, it's vintage. People are gonna buy it because it's vintage and not because of the quality necessarily for something like this. That's right. Yeah. So comps on this, um, we should get around $29, $30, maybe a little bit more, but like I said, keep it conservative. Yeah, we'll take a best offer on most all of these. You'll take a best offer. Well, okay, I will. <laughs> Vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren long sleeve button up. I love this shirt so much, guys. What's amazing about it are the colors. And we recently found a similar, I think it was a polo, right? That are these colors. And when these were popular, man, they were popular. And what's so great about it is it has one of these fantastic little logos. It's a bit faded, but it's still in amazing condition. And it looks like it's intentionally faded. 
It's nice. It's one of the Maiden Sri Lanka Ralph Lauren Chaps shirts, so they do sell pretty well for us. We've sold a lot of clothing They'll like this fast. in the past. Yeah, and it's going to sell for $25. 25 bucks. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right, guys, the next thing that we found is this nice Lacoste plaid button-down. I'm not a big fan of Lacoste brand. I think it's stupid, but a lot of preppy people like it. It's that alligator brand. If you guys see it in the wild, look out for it and buy it. They sell really fast for us. I like that the symbol's an alligator because my mom nicknamed <laughs> me alligator when I was young. <laughs> nice Lacoste alligator tag there in amazing condition and usually people that buy lacoste get their stuff dry cleaned or they take care of it or they have a lot of it and don't wear it all the time True. this one just excellent condition the fabric is fantastic doesn't look barely worn no. the white's super bright no holes it's a good one easy to sell for us we'll get 25 bucks for it pretty quick yeah it'll sell nice and fast lucky brand lived in thermal handcrafted Ooh, super fancy this maroon color Excellent condition, not faded, or if it is, maybe it's intentionally made to look like this because it looks fantastic. This should sell really quickly for 20 bucks. Yeah, again, Lucky Brand stuff doesn't sell for huge money for us, but it is a pretty quick seller. People who wear Lucky Brand like the product and it is good quality, so it does sell pretty fast. And we usually don't buy anything that'll sell for less than $25, but again, we're gonna list it high, so it might sell for $25. True. Just if we want to sell it really quick, depending right. on how much we have listed, if we want to bother with too many best offers, because sometimes we'll get too many offers That's on an true. item and we'll just say, screw it and we'll sell it. Or we just won't get any offers right. and we'll sell almost immediately. So it could sell between 20 and 25, but conservatively guys, $20. A lot of the clothing that we're showing you too, you'll notice is more winter wear. That is by design. We're coming up into that season now. So we are starting to stock up on long sleeve stuff, jackets, um, more winter cold weather clothing because that is what is going to start selling. I feel like Ned Stark is wrong and in Florida winter is never coming. <laughs> <laughs> winter is coming! Never. <laughs> Next up, bread and butter item here guys. It's a long sleeve Tommy Bahama button down. This isn't the typical 100% silk short sleeve button downs of Tommy Bahama that we like to sell. That but was different and unique for a Tommy Bahama. I wouldn't know it was a Tommy. Yeah. unless I looked at the inside. There's the Tommy Bahama. It's a nice blue. It's got floral, floral design. Not too bad. Something like this will sell quick for us for around $22. So it is worth picking up if you get it for the right price. Ow! It'll just sell fast. <laughs> Skechers Delights. Or Delights. Delights. I get it. Delights. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, they're sparkly. They oh my goodness. I think that these are barely worn i mean the white is crazy bright the laces are incredibly clean there's not one scuff on them it's amazing there's maybe like a little bit of dirt oh <laughs> you should do that for a living Ooh. <laughs> these are good shoes sketch your stuff again hit and miss it depends on the shoe but these particular shoes do sell really well we should get around $30 for them. And we got to tell everyone what size they are because everyone always asks us what size oh, shoes secure. are because sometimes people want to buy them they're what almost size your you? size. Ooh, these are size 7.5. Actually, this is a good time to say, if you guys want anything that we show you from these videos, please let us know and we will make you a deal. We'll sell it to you direct through PayPal so we don't have to pay eBay fees and we can pass those discounts on to you. Okay, guys, next, picked up these Under Armour shorts. They're running shorts. They have the little pocket in the back for your stuff. These I'm keeping. <laughs> I can never have enough high quality running shorts for working out in. This is true. And these are in extremely good condition, which means they're mine. But if you do see Under Armour shorts like this out there, usually we'll get around uh, $20 for them resale. Dun, dun, dun. Are you guys ready for these amazing finds? So here's the find of the day at that thrift store. Check it out. Guys, these are BMW like Bavarian Motor Works, the car company. These are motorcycle pants and they're not the cheap ones. They have the built-in armor. They are some serious high quality motorcycle pants. Amazing, US size four this one. So that's a really good size. So we got five pairs of these pants. I'll show them all to you guys really quick and then we can talk about them a little bit. So there's these ones, nice BMW logo on the pants. 
Ooh, those are Thank God, these super hilarious sweet. ones. <laughs> Look at them. They're dead on. Are they jeans? <laughs> are they motorcycle pants? You'd They're never know. They're motorcycle armored denim pants. Oh my gosh. You can tell these pants are super high quality. These are some of the most expensive feeling motorcycle pants that I've come across. And we bought a lot of motorcycle gear. These are really nice high quality ones. Brand new with tags. So I think two out of the five pairs that we got are literally brand new, never worn with tags. Here's another brand new pair with tags. So nice. Such a score. I can't believe we found these. And we paid up for them. We did, but we're still going to make a good amount of money on them. Yeah, it was worth it. This one, this particular style is called Belize. These are the kind of items that keep our average selling price on eBay up high. Remember, we don't like to sell those things that are 10 to $15. We like the things that are priced $25 and above. Well, these kind of things keep our selling price up there. I'm just hiding behind pants. Oh, another new with tags ones. Yeah. So there's three, three out of the five pairs are brand new with tags. So those pants were definitely the score of the day at that thrift store. I never thought when I found that random thrift store, we would find something so amazing That's as right. brand new with tags, BMW pants times five. For it's sure. It's just so crazy. Just because you've never been to a thrift store before, just because it's not a Salvation Army or Goodwill doesn't mean that you shouldn't go into it and see what they have because you never know what you're going to find. And the cool thing about those pants in particular was we kind of negotiated a little bit of a deal. Actually, I recorded that part, so I'll show you guys that. Good. So you guys have those uh, motorcycle pants I in the back there? I just reduced them all to thirty-four ninety-nine oh, yesterday. Okay. They were $124 each. Oh, wow. Yep. So okay. if you're going to buy them, I would get them now before the other ladies come in on the weekend. Okay. Uh, I was more wondering if you, w would you do 30 a pair if we took four pairs of them? Because I think there's four pairs. You can get 20% off. I'll go up and let them know. Oh, that would be wonderful. Okay, if cool. you buy them. Cool. Thank you so awesome. much. I appreciate right, that. Thank you. So there you go, guys. Don't be afraid to try to negotiate even at a thrift store. Ask for a discount. The value of those pants is $125 each. Without Some a doubt. Some may sell for a little bit more. Some may be a little bit less. But, I mean, guys, we're being conservative. Right. Those pants, three of them are brand new with the tag still on them. They could be incredibly unique. Right. I could for see all we know. I could definitely see the new ones get closer to the 200 range and the used ones going for about 125, but definitely a huge huge score on those items. And we'll keep everyone updated as they sell. We'll try to toss sure. it in some videos as we're doing our shipping so you can sure. see how conservative we were right. or how wrong we were. <laughs> <laughs> So there you go, the total amount that we spent, again, $181.82. And everything that you guys just saw, the total gross revenue that we should make from this buy is $873. <laughs> and that's the end of our thrift haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to check out some of our other videos. Please subscribe to our channel. I really hope you liked our thrift haul too. I mean, we try to make it interesting. We liked it. <laughs> yeah, if there's anything else we can do to make it way more interesting, let us know in For the sure. comments below. Leave us a comment. Tell us if you liked the video. Tell us if you didn't like the video and what we can improve. Please give us a thumbs up on the video and share it with whoever you want to. <laughs> or just only say really super nice things. Like cupcakes and rainbows are yes. delicious. <laughs> but thanks again, guys. I am Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And together we, we are Rally, Rally Roots. Roots. See, I didn't use the ring handle. Oh, you're so sweet. Very thoughtful. <laughs> See you later, guys.